The wave of arson attacks in several schools by some learners has left the government and school administrations exposed and desperately searching for answers and solutions. Most school fires have broken out without prior knowledge of teachers, but there have been reports that in some instances, head teachers ignored the slightest of signs on simmering trouble. To fill the gap, ministry officials are now working with the National Intelligence Service to gather information and identify trouble spots with a view to advising school heads on action to take. At Highway Secondary School, prior information guided the decision to close the institution, but for them, the tip-off was from a parent. The son had told, uh, told the parent to pray uh, for the school and the students because students were planning to burn the dorm in the night. On Monday night, teachers kept vigil while police officers were called to patrol the school overnight even though there were no incidents reported. That would change Tuesday morning. Form 4 candidates who have been sitting their exams since last week boycotted the examination hall. Instead, they headed to the play field and were later joined by the rest of the students who were growing rowdy inside their classrooms. When given audience, they complained of unreadiness to sit the exam while raising discomfort that their colleagues from other schools were at home out of the actions. The lower classes were also like they were not ready to continue uh, being taught uh, simply because of, uh, you know, uh, like they are in school and the others are out there. According to the principal, however, the students rarely watch or consume news on daily happenings. He is concerned how the boys got wind of the school burning trend. Out of the 750 student population, only 15 had expressed interest to remain in school, a situation that later changed, leaving the institution empty, silent, but safe. Two other schools, Muyogo Secondary School and Wamagana Girls Secondary School, were also closed after students became rowdy, with some choosing to walk out of the schools. The grievances attributed to the students at Highway Secondary School do not seem so convincing. However, that the institution has taken the painful decision to close down, it remains to be seen how many more schools will be compelled to take a similar decision before the term ends in three weeks' time. Sam Gitoko, Citizen TV, Nairobi.